Welcome back. Let's not waste any time and fall back into the action with the next obstacle, sponsored by Cat Footwear. On this kind of obstacle, you have to get it right first try. A heel pulls away, bouncing a bit as he falls to make it up the edge, taking home 40 points. Mike Wanless and Bram Reed are no strangers to climbing mountains. Unfortunately, that loud bang you heard there was due to damage to their diff taking these boys out of the competition for today. Rolf Kruger up next. Also driving solo today because his co-driver had to attend a wedding. Not his own. But just, just nicking a banner as he reaches the top. 40 points for Rolf. Moving over to the open class with Dion van der Westeisen. Lifting both front wheels dangerously into the air. And striking a banner. Dion gets stuck and unable to gain the traction needed, he has to call it quits. Taking 20 points on this one. Pia van Rensburg moves forward. Moving up at a constant speed, he unlocks gravity as he heads through the exit gate. Collecting 60 points for this progressive. Kicking it into high gear, Christoph Rie and Sol Pretorius speed up the incline. The enthusiasm not paying off as he breaks his diff in the attempt. Hannes and Alan Nell take their turn. Kicking up some dust. They head up the hill. Fighting just before the edge. Not getting the power he needs. Hannes still takes home 40 points. Leonard and Vickers showing us what that synchro is made of. Sliding to the side. Leonard takes out a banner. Keeping at it, he clips the exit banner as he lands back on the top. He doesn't take away a lot of points, but still very impressive. Keeping up the trend, Stuart Sterling pulls away. Also pulling to the side. His front lifts and the force of landing takes his tires off the rims. That wouldn't have happened if he had had bead lockers installed. Coming up, his front body lifts up and bounces against the ridge, causing the spectators to flee. The force of landing makes his one front and one rear tyre come off the rim. Anything to say about that? Harder than, a lot harder than it looked. Thanks. Taking us to the modified class is the father and son team of Barry and Richard Chapman. Making short work of this obstacle. Hot on his heels, Nico Marie heads up the incline. Doing very well. Well done, Nico. Yeah, no, it was good fun, eh? The whole day's been fun. Anxious for their try, we have Brett Law and Caitlin Miller. Also taking full points on this one. Modified class clearly having fun on this one. Let's watch. Sit back and enjoy the action. Our next obstacle is brought to you by Turn 1. This obstacle is definitely the best display of super mods we had this whole year. The perfect obstacle for the super mods with extreme angles and sharp turns, pushing these cars to the max. Thomas and Vota Ferreira doing very well on the first section. They need to be very careful squeezing past the banners. The marshal, Carat Duplessis, watching that banner with a hawk eye. Thomas is now faced with a 90 degree turn. He locks his front right wheel to swing his body around. Stuck with a banner in his path, he decides to take a rollback, losing only 10 points instead of 20 for touching a banner. Locking his front wheel again, using the other three wheels to line him up for the exit. He starts to climb the steep incline, just not getting the traction he needs.
whistle to indicate that Thomas is damaging the course. He disengages his front div lock to see if he can gain any more traction. Plan B, however, does not pan out. Thomas and Voter decide to wave the white flag on this obstacle. Ready for action is Kurs and Karl van Gerden in Borstokolov. Using the added benefit of rear wheel steering. A definite plus when attempting to line up in order to avoid those banners. Crawling around. Kurs straightens out his steering. Kurs tilts his cab to aid in traction. the base of the incline. Kua slides out slightly and touches a banner. Locking his front right wheel, he swings around for the approach. Diff locks engaged. And up he goes. the banner but Kurs still makes it out with 20 points. Well done. Another father and son team head up this obstacle. They come up further right than previous drivers. This should help them in avoiding those pesky banners. Mark watching the banners to make sure his driver is not going to clip it. Cornell just makes it around the other banner. up for the exit. Striking a banner, but he still takes home 30 points. Well done, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bit of a tough one, that. Yeah, the incline is a bit steep, but yeah, it's nice. 40. Showing the men how it's done, the queens of dirt, Hesma and Karin Swart, take to the obstacle. Also coming into the right, passing over another class's banner. No points deducted for that. Passing through the first set of gates with little trouble. Doing a sharp turn around the next set of banners. sharp 90 degree turn. The girls line up for the exit.
Unfortunately, they strike one banner on the way up, but still taking an impressive 40 points. Lucas and Honey Holtzhausen not taking any prisoners. Coming up strong, Lucas flies through the first set of gates. With no rear wheel steering, he locks his front right wheel and slides into position. Coming around, he does it again by crawling and turning at the same time. Lining himself up perfectly. He heads through the exit and takes four points on this one. This next obstacle brought to you by Lynx 4x4 Accessories. Pulling away for the standard class is David Mahale and Hendrik Motlabane. Heading up the steep incline with gusto. Making it up Go. nicely. Faced with a banner, he decides to take a rollback. From this angle, we can see how dangerous the slope can be. Knocking a boulder on the come down. But that's not a problem. He heads out with 40 points. Next up, Pierre Lundman giving it some gas. He motors up the incline. He attempts to head around in a single motion, but decides it's wiser to take a rollback to line up. Coming down carefully. Pierre and Marguerite head out with 40 points. Werner Bontes taking his turn. Flooring it, but just not getting enough momentum. He rolls back. His second attempt going much better. Reaching the summit. Unable to turn. Werner takes a roll back to avoid that banner. Sliding forward, nice bounce with that back wheel lifting. Also taking 40 points. Rob Miller and Shane Smart making short work of the incline. Taking a roll back to adjust the line. Huh? Cool. Down they go. A bit too hard on the brakes. Out they go with 50 points. That hill presenting no challenge to Stefan and Nanette Ventisweven. Coming around. They also take a rollback. Careful on the steep decline. Getting great grip from their tires. Maintaining control and out they go. Our next obstacle is sponsored by Yokohama. Setting the standard for this obstacle is Hannes Nell and Alan Berger. with a turbo diesel. Heading up, they clip a banner. On the second half of the obstacle, getting great grip from those tires. No further problems for Hannes. 40 points to him. Rocketing up the incline is Neon Blau and Peter Rodma. Striking one banner, then another. And another. Clearing the obstacle and nicking the candy tape.
Dion van der Westezen and Angie van der Westezen taking the bonus route. On a bonus route, drivers stand a chance of collecting 100 points if they can complete it. Having no problems in their Formula off-road vehicle. It's going to be very exciting to see what these guys can do in their own category next year. Van also taking the bonus route. These routes are much tougher than the standard route, making the drivers work for those extra points. Putting foot, he heads up too fast, striking a ledge, he flips over. Amazingly, he manages to pull his vehicle around. Van gets zero for abandoned routes. That deserves a second look. The synchro shenanigans attracting a large crowd. They head up. Getting good look there. Striking a rock. Then it takes a bounce. Ah, and topples onto his side. Let's see what happened there. Uh, we were in diff lock. The ground is very, uh, there's a lot of small stones on the ground. That's like the ball bearings, so the whole vehicle just started sliding to the side. And uh, I just kept going and eventually we fell. Into cool. the dip. Luckily no injuries, no one. No injuries, yeah. Happy. Hopefully we can carry on. Alrighty, well, we'll leave it to you to recover your vehicle and see you at the next obstacle. Thanks. No stranger to facing mountains like these. Have Van Barnard and Mandy Reed pull away. Striking a banner as they shoot up the slope. Making it up nicely. 40 points to Harman and Mandy. If you thought that was exciting, wait till you see what we have in store for you after the ad break.